What do you think of when you hear the name Elon Musk? A visionary or a genius innovator comes to mind, right? Mm. Wrong. He just wants you to think that. And he's done a pretty good job at fooling a lot of people that he knows exactly what he's talking about. You see, if there's one thing Elon Musk is good at, it's selling Elon Musk. And selling his value to the world as this leading tech innovator, almost a savior who has come to save humanity and take us into this utopia of flying self-drive cars and free speech. When in actual reality, it couldn't be further from the truth. He's a guy that got lucky once. Nowadays, he's like a monkey at the circus, juggling as many cups as he can, whether it's Tesla, Twitter, SpaceX, trying to keep people entertained. And when they start to get the slightest bit irritated or bored, he pulls out his next trick and tries to keep them hooked. Well, I'm here to tell you Elon Musk's empire is built on lies. If you didn't already know, Elon Musk's biggest brand is Elon Musk. Investors are investing more so in him as a person and as a brand than they are in his ideas. But most of Elon's success is not even Elon's success. He's either stolen it or bought it and taken credit for the idea. Elon didn't found Tesla. He used the money that he got from co-founding PayPal to buy a stake in Tesla. He then kicked out the original founder, Martin Eberhard, and stole his title. And let's be honest, Elon didn't design those rockets, no matter how much he brags about it on Twitter. So if he's not making false promises about a fully functioning self-drive Tesla, which he said he'd have ready by 2017, fast forward to 2023, and we're still dealing with this. He's buying a $44 billion company that he doesn't know anything about, all to stroke his own ego. But don't worry, we'll get onto Twitter. But first, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or in this case, on the road. Just look at how confident Elon tries to come across when making a promise he wholeheartedly knows he won't be able to keep because the technology is far from ready. This is what Elon does best. He makes lots of empty promises, gets people excited, so much so that lenders give him billions of dollars in investment. Elon then grabs the cash quicker than a tramp, grabs chips outside of McDonald's, and then has a stab in the dark, frantically trying to make things work. He's basically a greasy car salesman that will do anything to excite you as long as you buy the goddamn car. This is what con men do, trick you by making promises for the near future. You're instantly impressed with how quickly they're able to deliver in comparison to your competition. And he's been promising fully self-driving cars for this time next year for nearly a decade now. Teslas are far from ready and it's questionable whether they should even be out on the road. I'm all for people having a vision and taking the human race into the bright future, but there's a difference between setting up a goal and straight up definitively telling people that it will happen next year and then letting them down. And Elon being Elon has got away with it year after year without an apology or retribution. A little from here, a little from there, a little more from here, and then drip feed back the profits just enough to keep his own boat from sinking. Now, all of this would be fine if you were a teenage dreamer sat in your bedroom making promises that I'll do this and I'll do that. But when you're a self-proclaimed entrepreneur and billionaire who's creating the future, your promises will eventually start to grow weary and you'll have to answer to a lot of angry people, <coughs> investors, when they finally realize you've thrown all their money down the drain. Speaking of bad investments, let's talk about Twitter. Elon Musk bought a $44 billion company way over the asking price as an impulse buy without any strategy or thinking behind it. He doesn't understand anything about Twitter, let's be honest. It's all to stroke his ego. Stepping in as CEO, Elon has fired a bunch of people. Sorry, no, 
He's fired over 80% of employees so far. Most of which I think was for dramatic effect to create noise like most entrepreneurs and tyrants. Because hey, this is Elon Musk. He likes to make his presence known. Whoa, 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 whoa. I need you to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Yes, you as well, please. Now let's get back to the video. Eventually, Elon realized he can't sack everyone because, you know, he kind of needs people, you know, people working beneath him don't know what they're doing. Because as previously mentioned, Elon hasn't got a fucking clue on how to run Twitter. There's a difference between consuming a product, i.e. writing lots of tweets, and actually strategizing and selling a product. You know, something the boss needs to know how to do. So hitting rock bottom, Elon begged people to come back and work for him. But things got worse because Elon has taken out more loans to buy Twitter than Katie Price has had marriages. He owes $1.4 billion a year in interest payments just to pay back the loans that he's taken out. So Elon has now realized Twitter needs to make him money and fast. Scrambling for ideas, Elon finds the one thing that people on Twitter care about, the blue tick verification feature. For anyone not on Twitter, the blue tick symbol is used to authenticate the accounts of high profile people or organizations. It's to add credibility and trust that anything coming from that particular account is verified. It's also to prevent duplicate or spam accounts from impersonating an individual or organization. But not anymore. Anyone can buy a blue tick. Yes, I mean anyone. And only for a measly $8 a month subscription. That's why you have tweets such as this on the internet. But this has backfired massively. Huge brands have stopped spending money on Twitter advertising. And 89%, yes, an alarming 89% of ad revenue drop has occurred. And it's not surprising because Twitter has lost its touch. Anyone can be someone. So ultimately what Elon has done in an attempt to turn Twitter into a profitable business is flatline the only bit of revenue that it was making from Twitter advertising. Hey, as long as Elon's getting his $8 a month subscription money, that's fine, I guess. Mm, not quite. Elon would need 187 million people to sign up to Twitter Blue just to pay back the money he owes his lenders. Yikes. Didn't think this one through, did you, pal? Yep, the genius innovator that's supposedly going to take over the world. Well, he's not got a clue what he's doing. So the big question is, how does someone that so consistently fails to deliver on his promises manage to maintain such a huge amount of wealth? Lie after lie, it's easy to keep on going and have people on side when you've got the money, the power, the influence and the charm of Elon Musk. But why is the world nodding along to Elon's web of lies? It's no laughing matter. Elon's lies are extremely damaging and costing investors millions of dollars. He'd be forgiven for telling the odd white lie or under delivering, but when you're promising robo taxis, telepathic brain implants, rocket technology submarines, fake solar roof tiles, and fully functioning robots, Amongst a billion other bullshit claims that never actually happened, you start to wonder how this man, who is clearly unstable, gets away with all this. How does he get away with making such wild promises and why does no one call out his bullshit? I mean, in 2016, Elon said SpaceX would land humans on Mars by 2024. Lo and behold, it's 2023 and we're nowhere near that stage. He's since moved the goalpost and has now predicted a 2029 Mars landing. Probably giving him enough time to steal, sorry, borrow money from lenders for more pointless Elon ideas. But hey, this is Elon's world and we're just living in it. Here's an idea. Maybe we should pitch in and send Elon to Mars. Maybe he can stay there.